Nigga behave! Nigga behave! Hey, stop! It's time to stop! What the fuck was that? Spooky anime is always so hit or miss. In my experience... Oh. Adapted from Yukito Atsushi's original novel, another is a mystery horror supernatural thriller that takes place in middle school because anime is for children. And if you're a child who likes scary stuff or an adult who's on several government lists, then one of your middle school friends has probably already recommended you this show. It's like the anime Final Destination. Mmm, <laughs> crayons. More than anything, another stands out as a mystery anime. And the only real mystery in Final Destination is why death has such a boner for Rube Goldberg machines. Get the water, nigga! <laughs> so if you were expecting another to be anything along the lines of... Drop fucking dead. Uh, don't be. Don't be expecting that. In fact, I'd rather have you go in blind. If I could, I'd wipe your memory of everything you've ever heard about this show, then sit you down in an empty room, save for a TV, a Blu-ray player, and my laptop with nine anime opened up, because Kiss Anime banned me. But I can't do that. And I also want to talk about it. So I'm gonna do my best to be very vague and very clear. Which is parallel to how the anime unfolds its own plot. And if you think that sounds aggravating... Good boy. Now you're thinking... The amount of misunderstandings and conversations that are cut off before anything important is actually said makes me feel like I'm watching a good shoujo anime. Except now, instead of just being socially inept whenever the male lead shows up, best girl fucking dies. But even with all that, I have to admit, Tsutomu Mizushima really made it work. For those of you who don't know, he also directed Jashiraku, Shirobako, and Girls in Panzer. The reason I mentioned those shows specifically is for one, I've watched them, and two, they either predate their manga counterparts or are just visually more stylistic than them. And that's something I want from an anime adaptation. Hey, did you hear about that one girl who died? No. Oh, well. She's dead. Hey, did you hear about that one girl who died? No. Oh, well, she's dead. The more time you have to speculate on your own, the larger chance you have of enjoying yourself. That's basically this show's motto, and that isn't a consequence of lazy writing. It's the product of a mystery anime presenting itself like an actual mystery that has the potential of being solved. And then there's some lazy writing. You see, there's gonna be times where the story pulls a random curveball out of its ass just so it can beat a child with it. And depending on how interested you are in the show, it'll either leave you in shock and awe or just confused and... I'm almost there. Wait. A little angry. No. But enough about the plot, this is also a horror. And unlike a lot of movies and shows in the genre, another doesn't give you the spooky equivalent of ear rape with the hopes of making you jump out of your seat. Mom. Instead, it's more like your first grade gym teacher during those state regulated prostate exams that you had to take after school at his house while the lights were off and he had the idol playing. Coach, I don't want to be a starter anymore. He didn't want you to feel scared. He wanted you to feel vulnerable. But contrary to Coach Turner's intentions, being vulnerable is one of the most frightening things a human can experience. As it would turn out, the horror of the show doesn't derive from its supernatural elements, it derives from just how plausible a lot of its events are without them. Taking a bad step. Being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Stabbing yourself in the neck with a knife. If I want to kill myself, I will. It's not hard to die. I could do it like right now. But on the off chance you're not a paranoid little rascal who's looking for more traditional, up close and personal moments of terror. Dr. Octagon, my puss- Then yeah. It's not gonna be that scary. But say you happen to enjoy the overall vibe of the show, but you weren't really so keen on how it played out. Then good news, because the novel, manga, and live action movie all have the same vibe, but with different plots. And I mean really different. For example, in the anime, Koichi and Mai break into dance after witnessing the murder of a Korean man and not reporting it. Whereas in the manga, Koichi just, uh, rapes a girl in the middle of class and uh, everybody just kind of watches. All jokes aside, like most things, this anime, 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 this anime cuts pretty deep when you think too much about it. And halfway through the series,
Are you waiting to receive my limp penis? Another one. And another one.